Good day, grade sixes. Um, welcome to the natur natural science and technology class of grade six of Katu Primary School. Um, as you are following me, um, we're going to talk today about mixtures. I'm starting there on page 63. Uh, so as I'm going along in the textbook, I will also tell you the pages and so forth. So make sure that you go back to your textbook and uh, that you see what I refer to. Um, it is very important that you go and study the things that are also referred to in the textbook as well. So I'm going to do this, uh, um, the lesson on the slideshow. As I'm going along, you can just follow me. Okay, firstly, we're going to talk about mixtures. Now, uh, the most important part here is to know that a mixture is two or more different materials that have been mixed together. So if I find, for instance, only um, uh, peanuts, uh, it is not a mixture. But when I mix them with raisins, that is a mixture because they, it's two different substances that I've mixed together. So that is also the first kind of mixture that I'm referring to is a solid with a solid. So peanuts and raisins um, is an example for you of a solid and a solid that have been mixed together. That is not the only kind of solids and solids mixture we get. So I'm going to refer to as well to other kinds of and also use examples. So um, make sure that you go and have a look there on page 63 uh, or 62. You will see there on page 62, there's the key words um, and many of the words that I'm referring to, here you will find there on page 62. Uh, so make sure that you also um, have a look there on page 62 for the keywords. Another example um, of solids and solids, um, we get in nature different kinds of swans and ducks on a lake, for example, different kinds of animals, different kinds of cars or colors, um, there's jelly beans, if I'm referring to them, different kinds of jelly beans, or not kinds, but colors of jelly beans. And um, so clearly I can distinguish between the mixture of solids and solids with one another. Okay, it can even be living organisms as well. So, the next example of um, a mixture is where I mix a solid with a liquid. Now in this mixture, you, you will see that it is uh, two different kinds of uh, materials with different conditions and when I'm talking about the conditions I'm referring to the phases of matter so uh, solids, liquids and gases so a solid and a liquid mixed together here is an example for you of cool drink powder um, and water that we have mixed together remember now in this, uh, in this uh, example here I cannot distinguish between the two substances that have been mixed and this means that this mixture here is a solution. Okay, so if I can't distinguish between, I can't see where is the water and where is the cooling powder because I've mixed them so good together that they formed a solution. But some other um, examples, uh, for example sand and water, they will never be able to dissolve in one another because sand is an indissolvable substance. So it means it will not dissolve in water. So I will always distinguish between uh, water and sand if I um, see them in, a, in the picture. Uh, but here I can't see clearly where is the water and where is the cooling powder. And that makes this uh, example a, um, a solution. So, um, I can also uh, show you, uh, talk about um, sugar and water. I can uh, also use the example of salt and water. It is everywhere. I can even use rocks and water. Um, if we think about our everyday life, if we drink a cup of coffee in the morning, we will have a milk that is a liquid or water that is a liquid and I mix them with sugar that is a solid and also the coffee powder that is a solid. So in our everyday life we get to do with this kind of mixture. 
So um, that is the second example. The third example of um, mixtures can be a liquid and the liquid mixed together. So now I use the example here of Oros and I mix that Oros into the water. Uh, Oros and water will form uh, once again the solution because uh, when I see the Oros and I see the water, I will not be able to distinguish between the two substances. Um, here on the top side, I've got um, I've got oil and water. Water and oil will stay a mixture. They will not become a solution because oil is an indissolvable substance, so it will never dissolve in in water. Okay, so um, here is like fruit juice mixed with water, and that is what I refer to. That is not the only kind of mixtures we find in our everyday life. Um, different kinds of mixtures that we uh, also uh, see here, I'm going to refer to here now, is um, examples of different kinds of mixtures, is solids with solids, like we said, um, flour and rice, we got liquids with liquids, they like juice, concentrate and water, but we can also mix gases and gases with one another, like oxygen and nitrogen, we can also mix a solid with a liquid, like I said, sugar and water. And then we can also mix a liquid with a gas, like cold drink and carbon dioxide. And then also we can mix a liquid and a gas and a solid with one another. So all three phases of matter is referred to here in this kind of mixture. Like for example, Coca-Cola, um, it is a mixture of water of the coca-cola syrup and then also sugar and then they also add gas um, that is make it part of the mixture so i hope you have learned something about mixtures if you want to follow me in your textbook you can uh, go and have a look there from page uh, 62 uh, till day uh, 66 so make sure that you also have a look there okay